the client added um, added products at a pretty robust and quick pace. So I think they added about 500 products per month to their site. And within adding products, they of course discontinued products and removed them from the site as well. We would have to go back and manually update our supplemental feed and make sure it matched with the live feed we were ingesting into Merchant Center. So if we weren't on top of it, then we would have to, then we would essentially have products that were not running um, in some of our shopping or product focused campaigns. It was like three hours per week. So three hours a week turned into, you know, 12 hours per month, um, which is a lot of time in the services and resources business. Being able to advertise all of our products regardless of how they're being sent, so not being limited to the e-commerce platform and the attributes there or any miscategorization or missing attributes or anything like that. Having a managed service is great for optimization, um, but there could be a drawback if you cannot move as quickly as you need to. Um, but Feedonomics has the support and allows us to, to be really agile when we need to make changes to the feed. Viatri is, is an Italian term, is an Italian brand, so many of their products are uh, have you know Italian words in them. So it's always good to connect the dots and have at scale the Feedonomics team there to support the translation from Italian to English and allow us to test different methods and capture searches if people might be referencing the product that they saw opposed to the actual product category name or collection name people were searching for Beatry fish plate or just fish plate. So then we were able to A-B test if we included the term fish, not in place, but in addition, in our description or a title, we would improve our campaign delivery there. And we did see some improvement there. Additionally, through the transition, which is a, a big change, of course, for all agencies or brands that use Google Shopping, was a transition to Performance Max. So we were able to segment our product, our product feed in a place to allow us to test um, test smart shopping versus Performance Max and be able to make optimizations to how we deliver Performance Max before having to go all in on Performance Max. Um, so proper segmentation, proper labeling, proper attributes are required for that to happen. We reviewed three months from October to January compared to the previous period. And then we looked at the previous year. So the really impressive stuff was compared to the previous year because then you know we're of course comparing apples to apples. We saw a over a dollar and fifty cents cost per purchase decrease and a 5% decrease in our CPA year over year, a 30% increase um, in click-through rate, and an 80% increase in conversion rate. We saw a 37% raw increase in return on ad spend year over year from when we were using Feedonomics versus the previous year. It allows us to, to focus on what we're good at and what we're building, opposed to having to split time, effort, and energy um, into multiple directions.